This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. The solar system has a new visitor, and this one is absolutely massive. Now designated 3i Atlas, it is the third confirmed interstellar object. Its orbital eccentricity is well above one, which means the object is passing through our solar system once and escaping back to interstellar space for good. Detailed photos from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory have revealed that 3i Atlas is roughly seven miles wide, making it the largest interstellar object ever detected, dwarfing Borisov, which was 0.6 miles wide, and Oumuamua, which was 0.2 miles wide. A team of scientists has found that the object is teeming with water ice, along with a mixture of organic molecules on the object. Yes, spectroscopic snapshots taken with the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility and Gemini South reveal strong signatures of water ice mixed with carbon-rich minerals and silicates. The water appears chemically pristine, lacking the heavier isotopic fingerprints, typically baked into comets formed inside our solar system. Models suggest this water could have frozen into the comet as far back as 7 billion years ago, well before Earth existed. This means that 3i Atlas preserves a record of a completely different planetary nursery, offering us a literal taste of another star's protoplanetary disk. These new findings strengthen the case that 3i Atlas is a comet, not a covert spacecraft from an advanced alien civilization. Or does it? because it has anomalies. Um, it moves on a trajectory that is very unusual, is aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, and uh, it will get extremely close to the inner planets, like, uh, for example, Jupiter, Mars, or Venus. It will arrive closest to the Sun when the Earth is on the opposite side, so we won't be able to look at it. You know, the chance of this trajectory is uh, less than 0.2% to be aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, less than one part in 20,000 to arrive so close to the other planets. And one wonders, could it be a design trajectory? 3i Atlas is hurtling toward the Sun at nearly 130,000 miles per hour. It slices into the inner solar system on a steep, retrograde path. Astronomers have pinned several key milestones to their calendars, landmarks to watch as this visitor races through our cosmic neighborhood. October 3, 2025, Mars flyby. Just after sunrise over Valles Marineris, the comet will plunge past the red planet a mere 18 million miles away. From orbit, Maven and Tianwen-1 will see its dusty coma start to glow faintly pink in the Martian dawn. October 29, 2025, Perihelion. Four weeks later, 3i Atlas will sling behind the sun, skimming to 1.36 astronomical units, which is about 130 million miles from the photosphere. Here, its speed peaks near 152,000 miles per hour. At this point, the comet is lost to Earth-based telescopes, hidden by solar glare, but spacecraft on Mars and at L1 will keep a watch as jets of vapor erupt from the freshly warmed crust. December 19th, 2025, Earth, distance check. With its tail now fully unfurled, 3i Atlas will pass Earth at a comfortable 170 million miles, too far for a naked eye view, but close enough for the James Webb Telescope and Rubin Observatory to rake its coma for isotopic clues. March 16th, 2026, Jupiter Pass. Finally, the visitor will fly past Jupiter, 33 million miles above the gas giant's clouds. If NASA approves a late course tweak, the Juno spacecraft could swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, providing our sole up-close look at material that formed beyond the sun. After that, 3i Atlas will curve back into interstellar space leaving behind terabytes of data and a lot of questions. Yet, even before the dust has settled, some scientists are asking a far more unsettling question. Could Atlas be a piece of possibly hostile extraterrestrial technology in disguise? Famous Harvard professor Avi Loeb believes we cannot rule out the possibility. 
In a recent blog post, he highlighted Hubble Space Telescope data showing a luminous glow, likely a coma, appearing ahead of Atlas as it moves toward the sun. Interestingly, the images show no clear cometary tail trailing behind. For Loeb, this unusual observation has raised a provocative question. Could the object itself somehow be producing light? Based on this, he proposed two scenarios. Before that, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. With their AI-backed design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system called Fluid Engine lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag-and-drop technology. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Avi Loeb believes 3i Atlas could be releasing radiation because it's a rare chunk of supernova core loaded with radioactive material. Or two, it might be a nuclear-powered spacecraft with the dust streaming from its front being dirt picked up during its journey through interstellar space. Loeb also admits that the first scenario is extremely improbable, while the second would need much stronger evidence before it could be taken seriously. Recently, he co-authored a paper with his colleagues called Is the Interstellar Object 3i Atlas Alien Technology? In this research, he notes that the interstellar comet's generous size could easily conceal sophisticated instruments. He also invokes the dark forest hypothesis, a scenario where advanced civilizations hide their presence for fear of predatory rivals. Loeb suggests 3i Atlas might be a disguised probe passively mapping or eavesdropping on our solar system. He points to its unusually high inbound speed and near retrograde inclination as possible engineering choices rather than mere coincidence. He also notes that 3i Atlas's path swings improbably close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, an alignment that could be intentional. Unusual fact about its trajectory is that it comes very close to the inner planets other than Earth. Uh, like uh, Jupiter, Mars, <clears throat> or Venus. And the chance of that happening, given the trajectory, um, <clears throat> one can change the arrival time of this object, and only in one in 20,000 cases, you end up with uh, such a close proximity to the planets because they orbit around the sun, and the chance of being so close to them uh, is very small. He says the idea of alien civilizations sending their own galactic explorers isn't a stretch. Humanity has already sent its own interstellar probes. Voyagers 1 and 2 have officially left the solar system and Pioneers 10 and 11 are not far behind. He also argues that 3i Atlas reaches perihelion on the far side of the sun, putting it out of view of Earth-based telescopes when it is brightest an arrangement that, if intentional, could shield both the object and any devices it might deploy toward Earth from close scrutiny. Loeb estimates that given its current velocity, 3i Atlas would have breached the solar system's outer fringe about 8,000 years ago, coincidentally around the time humans first developed the means to record their own history. He leaves unstated what significance, if any, he draws from that timing. Meanwhile, his collaborators point out that the object has yet to display the usual signatures of a comet. Spectral scans have not detected the volatile gases, such as cyanogen or diatomic carbon, that typically linger in a comet's coma, so its true nature remains unsettled. So could 3i Atlas actually be alien hardware? Most experts say no. It's irresponsible science. This is just coincidence, the path that it comes through the solar system, um, there's a perfectly natural explanation for this. It is behaving like a regular comet, and the comet is just one of these primordial building blocks of planets made of dust and ice, and when it gets closer to the sun, the sunlight warms up the ice, and then it goes directly from a solid to a gas and pushes the dust off. So this looks just like a normal comet. 
Since the object was first spotted, astronomers have gathered a growing stack of observations, and nearly all of them point to an ordinary comet. Images and spectra reveal the sort of dust jets and faint coma we expect when sunlight warms an icy nucleus. As for the missing volatile fingerprints, gases like cyanogen or dicarbon, that glow when a comet gets closer to the sun, it's simply too early. 3i Atlas is still well out in the cold. Few comets advertise those gases until they dive deeper into the inner solar system. Over the next few months, as it heats up, those telltale emissions should appear if it is indeed an icy wanderer. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet.